I'm in a programming track and I chose it because I went to undergrad in computer science. Um, it's been my dream all my life to uh, make video games and I'm finally here. <laughs> I chose Fire because I searched around f um, for about two years and couldn't find a school and somebody finally told me their friend just graduated from Fire and got a job in the industry. Um, it seemed like the most viable choice because I was working for a couple years and couldn't, uh, I, w I didn't love my job. I didn't love what I was doing and now uh, I find something that I have a passion for and uh, Fire, Fire really talks to me. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea what I was getting into when I came to Fire. When I first got here on day one, I still didn't have a schedule. I still didn't know what I was going to be doing. But um, now, um, after the first semester, I know what to expect, uh, the, the level of quality of my work, uh, how much time I'm going to be spending at FIRE or not. Um, and it, it, it helps to know what, you, what you're getting yourself into. But taking a leap of faith was really, really fun. <laughs> Um, my favorite part of being at FIRE is the camaraderie I have with everyone. Um, everybody here at FIRE shares the common love and interest of video games and that kind of puts us on even playing even though we come from all different walks of life. Um, we can sit down and play Street Fighter and, and Half-Life and get along just like we're two strangers on the street but we, we love games so it's, it's great getting along with people that you might not even regularly get along with if you met him out on the street. Uh, if someone could have warned me about one thing before coming to FIA, it would have been about the amount of work and effort that would have been put into coming and um, attending school here. Uh, as I said before, I was working for two or three years and I've never put in this much work, never put in this much time, never put in this much effort. Uh, but it's, it's so rewarding, but at the same time, I feel like I don't even know what I was doing in my life before. <laughs> it wasn't work, it was just playing around, it was just getting day by day, getting done with, getting done with my work, but now it's, uh, it feels like my soul has been answered. <laughs> um, entering into the pre-production semester, um, I'm a programming lead on my program, on my project. Um, and basically the roles are to steer the, the team in a correct direction technically and, and uh, make sure we are sound um, from that aspect. Um, also this year, I, I've, it's a new feature of the program, but we have a central team. So um, I'm contributing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, code and a lot of uh, uh, ideas to Central and making sure um, my team's heard more throughout um, the, the rest of the program. And qualities that you would need for being in my position is, uh, for any programmer basically, you have to be a, a great self-starter. You have to be able to work on your own, you have to have initiative, that's, that's the most important um, thing you can have for yourself is to be able to work on your own and to be able to um, finish tasks without anybody over your shoulder. Um, you know, but programmers by themselves are going to be um, fast learners and you wouldn't have made it into the school if you don't have the potential to make it. But one quality that you, if you don't have when you get here, you will need to be a self-starter. You need to be have have your own initiative and goal set. I guess my biggest challenge at Fire has been to um, prove to myself and to others that I'm capable of being here. Um, when I first got here, uh, I was more so on the, on the bottom pile of programmers, and I had to climb my way up and. It's been an, a good challenge to myself and, and to others to prove that 
I, I belong here. So, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's a good, it, get, it makes you feel good for my ego. And it makes me feel, um, feel good that I, I prove to myself and prove to others that this is what I so, should be doing. I should be a leader. I should be in this spot. So that's my biggest challenge. My advice to any incoming FIRE students is that if you don't know or you don't, you have any qualms about if you belong here or not, you need to get them out of your system before you get here. Because once you get here, you're here to work. Um, this is a master's program. And if you come here with the attitude that it's still un you're, you're still an undergrad, you're just here for school and that's it, you're gonna have a hard time getting along with everybody else and getting along um, in the program. You're gonna, you're, the, how your peers view you is gonna be one of the most um, underrated um, ideas that you would have about yourself. Because working well with others is most important. And two, if you don't put in the time, people will think less of you. Well, in the past two weeks, I've, I was playing Half-Life 2 and I beat it uh, in record time, but, you know, Alex Vance is wonderful. But right now, um, playing Dead Space and um, Mirror's Edge, uh, I like Mirror's Edge. It's, it's very fun. It's a, it's a groundbreaker. I don't like the camera in Dead Space. It's too off the shoulder. It's weird. <laughs> um, but all-time favorite games, if you were going to ask me that, it would be um, Fallout 2 or um, Diablo 2.